Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Anchorage, Alaska, with the frauditor known as, well, Dumbass Elmo, a.k.a. Auditing America, as he attempts to audit a post office up there and ends up, well, being chased out. And then he calls the cops. Oh boy, the cop hater calling the cops. How ironic. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Excuse me. You can't take pictures here. Since when? You can't. You don't You're tell not me. You're allowed to take my picture. You don't tell me what to do. Oh boy, what a nice little attitude you got right there. And I'm sure that winning personality of yours hasn't won you any friends anywhere. Plus the fact that you have a, well, laundry list of uh, charges in your background. Especially those having to do with assault on women and kidnapping. Speaking of which, uh, take a look at how he treats this uh, particular female right here versus how he runs away from the aggressive man later on. Oh boy, so this guy's definitely a coward to begin with. I have the right to take pictures. As long as I don't interfere with you guys. What's this? What is what? What, what is this? That, uh, that's like a stick. It's a stick up. <laughs> Hello. I'm Kara. Are you the manager? I am not the manager. I am the uh, supervisor. So I'm just uh, Hi. inquiring as to what you're doing. Is the it, Has the rules changed when it comes to video recording in the lobby? Um, the rules have not changed. They've been consistent um, as far as I know. But I mean, we, yeah, of course, my uh, clerks are uncomfortable with being filmed though. So, um, and I can't ask them to perform their duties, you know, under the circumstances. So is there any way that you'd consider stopping? Employees don't come here to, to, to be to, to, to be pampered by or, anybody. Or harassed. So if they So do you harassed, consider video recording harassing? They feel that way, so I'm oh. so sorry. So yeah, so they So feel, video recording is harassing, is that what you're saying? Not what I'm saying. If somebody's so I can't tell you what you're feeling. We can't tell the clerks that they don't feel harassed. The postmaster has already approved video recording in lobbies, foyers, corridors, and auditoriums. Mm -hmm. Wrong! Hey, ass Elmo, I know you have trouble with reading, but maybe you should uh, actually read uh, the poster because it says that particular part when used for public meetings. And uh, there are no public meetings going on right here. It's just uh, one dumbass trying to act like a big shot and throwing his weight around. Nothing more, nothing less. You have no authorization to film in there and you need the authorization of the local postmaster anyway. Not the postmaster general overall. I mean, he doesn't care about what you have to say, dumbass. Regular clerks mm -hmm. can't just change the whole rules are, are around here. You, you understand? Yes. Mm -hmm. So we but do have a right the same way that you guys have the right to video record everybody that comes in here. Mm -hmm. We have the right to video record as well, as long as I don't interfere with the business. So as long as I'm not creating a disturbance or anything like that, your clerk's fe feelings with all due respect, I'm just doing a job as a photographer right now. No, dumbass Elmo, you are the one who is indeed creating the disturbance. The, the operation was running just fine until you decided to walk in here and film transactions, film everything that was going on, but despite the fact that the employees didn't want you around, and they have every right to shut the place down if somebody comes in there to create chaos just to keep everybody else safe. And you are that element of chaos at this point. So deal with your stupidity and go home. Because they don't want you up there in Alaska. 
I'm sure it's too cold up there for you anyway, but we don't want you down here in Florida. Go somewhere where uh, you'll be more welcoming. Perhaps, well, at the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. There's no friends in business. So I'm working, you guys are working. There's a thin line that neither of us can cross. She does, I, I've, I already have approval to, to be here. Mm -hmm. Yes. And it's written, it's actually on the wall. Mm -hmm. It's right there on the wall, I believe. Yeah, but nobody can tell another person that they're not harassed or that they have- Well, harassing is a crime, that's the thing. Mm -hmm. I'm, not, yes. I'm not committing a crime. It's going to be subjective. No, so yes, no, I'm, harassment is not the just uh, you're you're as you're defined. well. I encourage you to maybe call the postal inspector mm -hmm. and 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 they can inform you guys that we have the right to be no, here. You do. you do, I mean, it is not, it's not. I do have the right, correct? Yeah, correct. All right, but it so it's not. It's so if I have the right, that means I'm not breaking the law mm -hmm. or harassing anybody. Not only I have the right. But you guys have the customer's uh, bill of rights mm -hmm. over here at the at the post office. You have the customer's bill of rights. Also, as a postal employee, you take an oath to protect the Constitution in the United States when you become a uh, postal employee. Yes. I know everything about your policies. Mm -hmm. I'm not here to create drama or anything, but mm -hmm. you can't give me wrong information, ma'am. No, no, I'm just telling you that my clerks feel harassed. Well, no, so no one is harassing anybody. They can feel however they, can they want. Feel however they want. Yes, if, but if, if they're if you can't tell them they're not harassed. They're not being they harassed. Are, that's that's they feel that way. So that's where there's Well, there's they feel they they, they have they have the confusion of what they they don't know what harass harassment means mm -hmm. because when you're harassing somebody, that means that you're breaking the law, you're disturbing their peace. I'm just video recording uh allowed by law and allowed by the constitution and allowed by the post office. So if they don't feel comfortable video re uh, being at the post office, I guess it's the, it's the wrong place of employment. You know, uh, this guy talks just to hear himself talk, and I'm getting really tired of hearing his circular reasoning because, well, the post uh, Poster 7 is quite clear on it. It's just that he's too much of a moron to figure it out, or he's just totally dishonest about it because he's plan had plenty of time to actually interpret the uh, poster properly. But let's just go ahead and skip to the point where the other guy gets involved because, well, that's a lot more entertaining than, well, hearing this moron talk. 15 minutes later. What's your way? You're going to video record? I'm video. Come on. Touch me. 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 Really? I'm a journalist. I'm a journalist. I'm going to call the police. You just threatened me. You just threatened to kill me. You just threatened to kill me. No, you're not. No, you're not. Yo. Yo, what the fuck is your problem? You psycho. I'm not getting out of here. Oh, you. Oh, wow. I've done nothing to you. Yeah, I will do something. I've done nothing to you. No, I'm not. I'm working. Get the fuck out of here. Bro, get away from me, bro. Get the fuck out Get away from me, bro. Get away from me, bro. Get away from me. Get away from me. Come on, bro, get man. away from me. Be a fucking bro, man. Bro, get away from me, bro. Be a fucking man, dude. I'm not doing anything You're to you. You're a bitch ass punk. I'm not doing anything to you. I'm not doing anything on you. You little punk ass bitch. You ain't I'm doing shit. I'm fucking kill you, dude. Oh, you're gonna kill me, okay. I will fucking beat you to a bitch. Get a cop over here. He'll bro. let me beat your ass. Bro, get, get away from me. 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 You know, Ass Elmo, it's real funny how you always talk down to women and treat them like they're inferior to you. But the moment that a man walks up to you and starts to challenge you, you fold like an accordion. You are an out-and-out -out coward, dude. Is it any wonder why so many of your charges involve dealing with women and how you treat them? I mean, you are a freaking low-life scumbag coward dude i just can't say it enough that's all you are and that's all you ever will be and since you're too much of a pussy to deal with that guy you call the police on him and guess what it takes 30 minutes for them to show up and uh 
try to deal with the problem, but, you know, I don't think that this officer that shows up will be really interested in helping you out because he saw the footage and, uh, well, he didn't sound too enthusiastic about it. So let's roll that beautiful bean footage. Many, many minutes later. Called 911 30 minutes ago, 40 minutes ago. Nothing happened. No, they just arrived. Okay. My name is Officer Fritzel. My badge number is 65796. Um, do you mind just putting the phone down so we can talk without that being in my face? I'd appreciate it. I, I, I'll keep it down That's here. How's fine. that? That's I better. At least I can see you. All right. So did anything get physical between you and this other guy? He wanted to. He threatened He threatened my life. No, I heard the video and I saw the video. And it's a good thing that you took that. Um, but no one ever got touched. He was, he, he was uh, being disorderly. He disturbed the peace. That's all. Dumbass Elmo, you're the one who started that whole thing. And there is a mysterious cut in between certain areas of the video because you don't exactly show what led up to that final confrontation right there. It just transitions from one part of the video to that part of the video. So we don't know what you said in between those times to antagonize that guy any further so that is another issue i have with your video right there so where is that portion show us what you said that way you can vindicate yourself at some point because otherwise you do have witnesses that can attest to what actually happened in there so you need to fess up um as far I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a cop or an attorney, yeah. but it, I, I know for a fact that he was engaged in disorderly conduct and that's a crime, you yeah, know? He was threatening to kill somebody. Yes. Um, okay. So I got his, I got his license plate. I'll try to track that down. I'm going to go to the post office. I'll talk to the employees um, and we'll see what we can do. Um, ultimately, is this something, if I'm able to find this guy, is this something you'd like to press charges for? Yes. Okay. Um, obviously, I gotta talk to all all the sides. I gotta talk to him too, um, and just get both sides of the story. Um, yeah. Watch. If you wanna call an Uber, get somewhere safe. And Thank I'll you. See what I can do about this. All right. Thank you, brother. And that's where the video ends. Uh, something tells me that well, this cop really doesn't care after he saw what happened in the video because well, it's clear that Ass Elmo was the antagonist all the way through this, and well, he only showed how much of a coward he is because. Oh, he antagonized all those other women to no end, but when it came to uh, some guy, oh, he ran like a little beta bitch boy cuck. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?